Anybody undecided? Over here. Go ahead. for you, but I'm still concerned about your stance on nuclear power, which I don't think that a lot of your, the voters present here, and especially like the younger voters, know about, and I'd like you to explain that a little bit, and I know that you consider it um, one of your essential components of your alternative energy plan to mitigate greenhouse gases, but I, w I would like to know if you're truly comfortable with the safety of nuclear power, and how um, big a part you want it to play in your alternative alternative energy plan. And um, I wonder if uh, you being a senator from Illinois where there's a heavy nuclear presence has influenced your decision? Good. Well, I, I think it's an excellent question. And, and let me tell you that I start off with the premise that nuclear energy is not optimal. Uh, and so I am not a nuclear energy proponent. Uh, it is true that Illinois has the most nuclear power plants of any state <laughs> in the country. Um, and that makes me that much more concerned about safety issues, since I have a nine-year-old and a six-year-old daughter who live in that state. So the only nuclear legislation that I've passed has been to make sure that the nuclear industry has to disclose whenever they admit anything that might be considered radioactive and share that with local and state communities. I just did that last year. So my general view is, is that until we can make certain that nuclear power plants are safe, that they have solved the storage problem, because I'm opposed to Yucca Mountain and just dumping storage in one state in Nevada, particularly since there's a potentially a uh, earthquake f uh, fault line there, until we solve those problems and the nuclear uh, industry can show that they can produce clean, safe energy without enormous subsidies from the U.S. government, I don't think that's the best option. I am much more interested in solar and wind and biodiesel and strategies, alternative fuels that not only uh, can create clean energy but will also create jobs in rural communities and areas that have been hard hit throughout Iowa and throughout uh, southern Illinois. What I have said is this, though. There is no perfect energy source. Everything has some problems right now. We haven't found it yet. Now, I trust in our ingenuity. And so what I've said, whoops. What I've said is, is that I'm going to launch an Apollo project, a Manhattan project, where we invest billions of dollars in new energy ideas and sources. And the way we're going to do it is we're going to set a cap and trade system on power plants and industry. Every bit of pollution and greenhouse gas that you admit, we are going to charge you money for. That will generate dollars, and we will put that in to research, development, and assistance to alternative energies and creating clean, uh, clean technologies. I have not ruled out nuclear as part of that package, but only so far as it is clean and safe. I have the same attitude with respect to coal. My state has a lot of coal, but I actually voted against the Bush Clear Skies initiative that would have uh, reduced or, or weakened the Clean Air Act because I think it's important for us to give clean air and clean water to our kids. On the other hand, if we can figure out a way to burn coal that is clean and does not emit greenhouse gases, we should do it. And so we should invest in the research to do it, but we should not sacrifice the health of the planet or the health of our people for that. That's, I think, the approach I want to take as president, emphasizing clean energy, but also recognizing that there's no one single optimal solution and we've got to try everything to see what works, all right?